Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Corporate Alliance tank droid and hyena droid bomber from 2009, of course. So we'll start off with the two instruction manuals, which, as you can see, have different style Clone Wars borders. Well, since one was for the Winter Wave and one was for the Summer Wave, of course, but yeah. So, I don't know which, but I have that. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then add a Flinko Club. And add of the 10th anniversary, or 1 10th anniversary set, of course. And then add for some other sets from the time, of course. And sorry if there's a little markings on it. That's just how I got it. While I used off Bricklink, of course. But yeah. And then we'll promotional poster like ad of some of two other Clone War sets which I'll also do for a future throwback Thursday but yeah and then the pieces that come with the set of course and then the last steps other of which do logos and picture of the set in action of course and add for a few other sets from the time including to 10th anniversary sets, which I previously reviewed, of course. And also that one of which expect for next next throwback Thursday with another, of course, but yeah. And then the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last step. And so close to which. So for the Corporate Alliance tank droid, you would get two of both of these figs, like two regular battle droids, and also two uh, jetpack cone troopers, of course. But aside from that, and of course, battle droid, same as they've always, same as it's always been since 1999, and also straight arms since ever since 2000, same since 2007, of course. But whereas the uh, clone jetpack trooper. Quite interesting torso printing, which, although all of which quite the same as any other clone phase one clone trooper from the time, of course, but just with the jetpack uh, put onto it, which same ones that Django Fett and Boba Fett both used, of course. And as for the high android bomber, that the you get not just one but also three uh, regular jetpack battle droids, of course, which. Although the head and uh, torso bit can definitely useful for newer Geonosis battle droids, of course, but hopefully, or I mean, which they also did back in like 2013, but if they did so now, this would be the right color for that, of course. But aside from that, have the arms and legs in gray, of course, and on the back of each of which, well, his back torso printing, same as any other clone trooper, of course, and also, not much from the back, but also have traditional binocular piece, but used for the jetpack, of course. Also, I forgot to mention, a face printing underneath, same as any other clone, Phase 1 Clone Trooper or Clone Wars Clone Trooper from the time, but yeah. So, of course, both of these sets of which good for army building, of course, but not at all any specific characters in it, but at least good for that, but yeah. And so now, on to the main builds of each set. Or, actually, one little side build for the Corporate Alliance tank droid is just this little jumper bit, which may have just a plate and a couple of uh, inverted jagged slopes, and one jagged slope, and a couple of plates on there, and tiles, of course. But, the of course, feature with it is place a cold trooper on it and let them fly right off, of course. Would nice to see that continue nowadays, but of course, still nice, still a good fun thing to it, but yeah. And now onto the Corporate Alliance tank droid here. And of course, this is which second time we've ever had this one. And of course, first time was with the 2005 uh, set, of course, and then alone again, but in 2013, but 
but they still have episode 2, and this one's for Clone Wars, of course, but yeah. And of course, although the front part of which, like these things, which built pretty well, good use of those uh, pieces, and also this top plate piece, of course, and do have those uh, roundish uh, plate pieces underneath, so which does do quite well for it, and and but also like the 2005 version, uh, which has large plate piece here. Or large dish piece, which have some nice printings onto it, and also for these Technic bits around, of course. And although the 2013 version probably didn't either, but anyways, onto these Technic bits here is probably to look like long blaster parts of it, but the top part of which are actually with a uh, flip fire missile. It's also like the uh, 2013 version of. Let me show you again. And of course, when it's launched out, it's down to just one blaster bit of it. But although this is probably how it says so in the instruction. So I think so. Let me see. Oh, actually, I have it upside down, but actually, the two should be otherwise faced the other way around. But whatever. But as for the eye bits of which, which do go up and down and in and outwards on two different joints with made of of baldroid arms which and very few pieces for that but which good use of these good movement there of course and of course, and of course like the other a couple versions do have the technic tread piece here made of the well the small versions instead of the larger versions and for the back side of it, which this little wheel bit you can turn yourself, or of course it does roll quite well. Uh, which actually does roll quite well. Although you can like take just one or two off with that and have it let it fit a little better if you want to. But and for the size for the price point. Uh, for around twenty dollars at the time. Well, I think it was quite good for that, but yeah. And of course, plenty of jagged slopes in there, of course. And that's about it with the tank droid here. Now onto the hyena droid bomber here. It was quite large for what for its price and whatnot, but it was probably like thirty dollars or so at the time. And of course, it was quite similar to most other vulture droids it's that we've oftentimes had. But as you can see, it has two uh, head bits of it instead of just one. And of course, and also, unlike most other vulture droid sets, it doesn't have a uh, cockpit in it like others do. So of course. But since, of course, they're drones and their own their own things that don't need pilots, and of course, this is which just about right. And, and aside from that, also this which comes with a whole lot of sticker for that, especially for these large uh, corner uh, uh, bricks, of course, and playing it uh, plates all over, of course, and that, of course, and as for the side wing bits of which. Quite similar to most other Vulture Joids that we've oftentimes had, of course. And they do pivot in two different areas, of course. And as for the bottom part of it, as you can see, a little bit barren, but and also do get oh, what's probably this little eye bit for it to like point out where to drop the uh, bombing cargo, of course. It also pivots as well. I'll to of course look out as well. And on to so for the main feature of it is that if you pull on one one of these and they drop right down, of course. And of course and to reload of which is just can pick them up and uh, 
put it on these on that one hole onto the rods in there, of course. And yeah, good, nice, fun feature to it. And also, another feature is that you can turn these, these wing bits inwards and let it stand up, of course. Now, some people which have often said it's kind of unstable for that, but it actually it is plain enough stable, even though it might wobble a bit for that, but it's okay. Just fine. And as for the size to that, quite good size for, as I said before, of course. Assigning it, but then of course. <laughs> and so now on to the final verdict on these two. So overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for the time of it. Like, do you get plenty of army building characters in both of them? Not any, no regular named. Uh, specific characters in either, but and also good jumping feature with the corporate alliance droid, and, and which I hope they bring back in other sets, of course, and also good playability for both of like rolling around it and dropping the bombing parts of it, but yeah, but, and also a little different uh, Vulture droid type. We, type drone that we haven't seen in, in quite a long time, but yeah. Although would be, and of course, both of which would be nice to have for a remake, for remakes or whatever. If the, both of which were remade nowadays, I think they'd probably be about this much good, but if, of course with a spring oil launchers or stud shooters and whatnot, but yeah. And so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, and I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.